we will try to integrate uh, the vehicle system that uh, Unreal provides into our first person template. And so that will be interesting. The first thing we need to do is go into the plugins and search for chaos. And we can see the chaos vehicle plugin or experimental. The, the Unreal default plugin, no, not the, the plugin, uh, the default template, the vehicle template uses this one. So we need it. So clicking that one, yes, it's experimental. This is just a mind you. We have restarted the engine and we are ready to go to try to impo import it. So how to import it? I'm closing down the plugin here. We have uh, rearranged our nice folder structure here. So we have the P01 and this is one of the reasons why we do that because now we can add a feature pack. And we will add the vehicle one. We're adding it to the project. So now it's added. The, the, this the window does not in, uh, disappear, so we're closing it down. And here we can see uh, one of the reasons. So we still have our folder stru structure, but now we see everything else that is added. So um, avoiding some big messy structure where everything is just bundled together we can slowly try to um, move everything in to their correct places so how to do that we can begin with a world i have two worlds here let's see if we can find it in this uh, wonderful wonderful structure uh, vehicle vehicle template there it was vehicle template maps so here we have a vehicle example map opening that one up we cannot play i don't think so at least if i'm playing here i'm just gonna no i actually ended up in the car i suspected that there would be some game mode problems but uh, it works nicely but we don't have the escape button, so I'm hitting a shift escape to uh, to exit. We need to uh, we, uh, we will address that as well. So here's the map. I'm gonna move this map because it's a it's a good uh, testing map. So I'll do as we did previously a long time ago when initiating the project. So I'm going in to file save current level s. Where? Well, in our level structure. So in levels. We will just add a, an LVL gym vehicle. Save. So now we have one that is a vehicle and it should work uh, just as previously. So I'm here. Yeah, still works. No shocker there. So one down, then we have the vehicle off-road example map. I'm gonna move that one as well. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a bigger map. It has lots of hills and roads and stuff. So we need to, and it's uh, using the world partition. So I'm just drag selecting it and uh, right clicking and loading selections. Now we can see everything. And this one holds the buggy. It's loading shaders. And that also works. And we will move this one because it's uh, also a really nice little off-road testing map. Again, I'm going file, save current level as. Going in here, gym vehicle <coughs> off road. Saving it. The goal here is to spawn as a first person character, move up to a vehicle, and interact with it. 
and then possess the car and be able to drive around. There we go. So that are those are the maps. Moving in and just quickly changing to the gameplay first person gameplay map. So we don't have uh, the other maps selected. Take a save all. We should hopefully be able to delete this map now. It has uh, the one file per actor structure. So. All right, we have the vehicle off-road example um, map HLOD. This one uh, is referencing uh, the, um, um, the map that we just moved. So we're gonna move this one as well. So I'm taking this one and dropping it into our levels. Like so. And, we and then we have to clean up uh, fix up the redirectors since we moved a thing We don't have any dependencies we're deleting those And deleting those might take some time um, because of all the external actors and all the the linking going on uh, but when that is done we can move on so what to move now we have the level prototyping here and those are interesting because um, we actually already have these so these are um, these are uh, available to us already in uh, fr from the first person perspective so we can delete the material instances here uh, and by deleting one by one we can reassign them so this one for example mi solid blue if i'm deleting that one i need uh, there obviously is a dependency but we can reassign it to the one that we already have the exact same one but located in P01, so solid blue. If I'm hovering over this one, I can see the uh, the path there stating P01 world. I'm choosing that and replace. Yes, I'm okay with replacing. An MI prototype grid, uh, just for convenience, I'm hitting e uh, F2 and copying the name. So now I'm deleting it. There's references, but we're referencing it to the new one. And uh, the next one, F2, copy the name, delete, paste the name, choosing and replacing. And the next one, uh, F2, copy the name and paste the name. So let's see here, what was it named? MI prototype grid gray. Why do we have two? This one is located in P world materials and that one is located in P world materials as well. We have a duplicate there for some reason. I bet they are the same. We're choosing the first one. And these are uh, the M uh, prefix is stating that it's um, that it's um, a master material. So MI is the material instance. M is material. So these should not be used on any objects. We have the meshes. We do the same with the meshes. If they are used, ramp. This one. We have in P01 world meshes. We are quickly moving through these as well. Reassigning all of them. That one is not used. So 
cylinder cube that one SM stands for static mesh so that's a correct nicely nice um, for uh, name name standard that one was not used in the vehicle system and the textures there are tied into the materials materials there so if we do a clean up here fix up redirectors we should be able to delete the entire level prototyping Ah, it's re referring to the track. Okay, then we need to uh, redirect with the materials as well. So we continue with these three as well. Material function, the one that we hold in P01 world, replace. That one was not used. Prototype grid was not used either. There we go. So now, again, fix up redirectors and delete. Ah, the texture. The texture holds two references to these two files. So the, this one, we have that one as well. So I'm choosing grid and replacing saving everything and now let's try it fix up redirectors delete now we were able to delete it so here we had some stuff uh, messing with what we tried to do we will move these uh, into our world folder so opening up p1 going into world we have these materials textures and meshes so let's move the mesh into meshes and these two m track and mi track edge into materials Fix up redirectors on the content folder, the root folder. Now this one should be empty from hidden files as well. We were able to delete it. Nice. Saving some stuff. So let's see here. We have a lot of stuff going on here. We have in, uh, new input actions. And we have some blueprints and we have the actual cars. So let's try to move the cars, the vehicles, into the player. That's a good place. So vehicles, we just slam, slam dunk into the player folder. Move here. Let's hold our thumbs that it will work. Because there's a lot of control rigs and stuff like that. So yeah, this might be some problems. Okay, so we did move stuff. And there seems to be empty folders here. So let's click on vehicles and fix up redirectors. And let's see if we can delete it. We could. And then we have the vehicle template with a lot of blueprints. So the off-road blueprints and the sport, sports car uh, blueprints and the input actions. So I would probably want to have that in the vehicles. Uh, so player, vehicles, and there we'll have uh, uh, the, the inputs and the blueprints. So we're taking the blueprints folder 
and the inputs folder, moving them into vehicles. So it's empty. Right clicking and fixing up redirectors. Can we delete this now? We can. So one one could have argued that we should have the inputs in the inputs to combine combining them. But I'm gonna keep it like this because there's a safety for having Yes, we have inputs, but these inputs are solely for the vehicle. So we could do one thing for the inputs here. We have uh, we should probably because we have an, uh, a mapping context that is already called default in the input here. There, there's our default. So this should probably be default humanoid. And this one should be default vehicle. Have we possibly broken anything? Perhaps let's let's uh, see. So let's go into the levels and go into the vehicle map. It looks like we have all the textures and everything. So there seems to be some stuff working, and we are actually able to play the car as well. Marvelous, marvelous. So mission accomplished with uh, moving in the entire, merging in the new assets and then um, cleaning it up, removing excess files and uh, integrating in all the files into our system. So that's part one and in the next part we try to hook it up so, so it's uh, more integrated from a blueprint perspective. But uh, over and out. Live long and prosper.